Hello, everybody. Father Stephen Imbrato, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Good that all of you are with me today. Yes, there was no lives yesterday. I did not live stream yesterday at all <clears throat> because I was traveling. We had a red eye um, Thursday night, Wednesday night, Wednesday night into Thursday. So landed in Charlotte and then Buffalo yesterday, um, and I'm in Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, slowly I turn, step by step. Now, the overwhelming majority of you may not know what I'm talking about when I say Niagara Falls. Slowly I turn, step by step. It's an old, probably goes back to vaudeville, vaudeville uh, gag. Um, the Three Stooges did it, Abbott and Costello did it, Lauren Hardy did it, all of the um, great comedic talents uh, back in the day uh, did the, the gag Niagara Falls. Uh, if you look at it on the surface, it's really not that funny, but it's catchy. And of course, it has physical humor in it. So it's not even politically correct today. You can go on YouTube and uh, and just put in Niagara Falls comedy and you will find uh, that, that gag uh, by any number of comedians. Like I said, Abbott and Costello. Costello, you guys probably don't even know who Abbott and Costello is. Uh, they were one of my favorites. Who's on first? Uh, <coughs> and then uh, uh, the Three Stooges, Mo, Larry, and Curly. They were probably my absolute favorite. My dad and I used to watch them all the time. And then Laurel and Hardy, Stan Laurel, Oliver Hardy, uh, this is the type of TV that we used to watch when I was a kid, comedic TV, uh, funny TV, physical humor. And of course, now they would say, oh, it's politically incorrect. Uh, but back in those days, it was great fun. It's still great fun. I mean, if you watch it, it's harmless stuff. Uh, nobody got hurt. Uh, clean, clean comedy. Uh, now you, you'd be lucky if you find clean comedy anywhere, right? Uh so I'm in a hostel, a hostel, H-O-S-T-E-L. I guess it's like a hotel, low-cost hotel, two bedrooms here. Uh, yeah, and so we spent the day at Niagara Falls. Slowly I turned step by step. So I was thinking about that, right? Slowly I turned step by step. It's Good Friday, it's September 1st. Friday, September 1st, I noticed that when I was doing my memory six years ago was uh, Friday, September 1st. And uh, <coughs> so it makes sense every six years. Now, the simple truth is coming up later on, 4 o'clock today, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm back in Eastern Time, so I'm kind of like uh, bumping around, right? I was in Ireland for two months, and then I was in Florida, and then in Phoenix for a couple of weeks. Now I'm back on the East Coast, at least for a week, then I'll be going back to Phoenix and in Albuquerque and heading home. But anyway, it's September 1st. It's Friday. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. September 1st, Friday. And so I was thinking about slowly I turn step by step. Well, that actually describes uh, everyone's conversion, our conversions, right? Uh, and uh, have you had a conversion in your life? Um you know, most of us should say if we are truly serious Catholics that we've had uh, several conversions in our lives, maybe <clears throat> a major, major conversion then lesser conversions. Uh, but uh, indeed, every conversion we turn, right? We turn every conversion we turn and then it's step by step, right? Step by step. Um, and, uh, in, in, uh, you know, St. Basil, I'm pretty sure it says, uh, in his book, I think the Holy Spirit that, uh, and I actually used this uh, once on a homily on EWTN, that when we have conversions, right, we, there's a turnaround, there's a turnaround, but there's a, a, a moment, a pause, right, a pause where we're going in one direction, the wrong direction, and then we stop 
and then we turn around, right? You can't just turn around without stopping, right? So you stop the old behavior, and then you turn around, and step by step, you change your behavior <clears throat> to a new behavior, a new way, a new creation, right? Uh, and so that's what conversion is all about. So on this, uh, now we are in a new month, September, right? Uh, September 1st, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Help us, Lord, to stop any less than uh, grace-filled behavior, any behavior that we're involved with. Uh, let us stop that behavior. Um, uh, any sin that we are attached to, let us stop that sin and then uh, turn right turn and then step by step lord come closer to you right uh <clears throat> uh and so my brothers and sisters in christ i think that that is a good reflection for all of us today uh, i don't have much of an internet here today uh i don't know if i can ask I don't think I can play around with this either, <clears throat> so I don't want to play around with it, but uh, the internet here is quite poor, and I can't, uh, for the life of me, uh, not connected to the internet. Now I'm not connected to the internet. Anyway, have you ever been to Niagara Falls, right? So um, I, I think it's one of the great wonders, if not in the world, uh, at least in the United States, the Grand Canyon and uh, Niagara Falls is kind of like the Grand Canyon with water, lots of water. Uh, to say the least. Uh, So anyway, uh, yeah, the simple truth, pre-taping simple truth this morning at 11 o'clock Eastern time. It'll come on 4 o'clock Eastern time. Gorge View Guest AP. Let's see what that is. Uh, guest View Join. Maybe this one will be better. Oh, maybe. All right, good. All right, so we're all set now. All right, so let's see what we got here. It's been a couple of days, uh, and there I am. All right, so we're good. Yep, September 1st, first Friday, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Uh, then another memory, um, if a Republican can actually win the White House in 2024, so this was a year ago, um, yeah, needs to do to the Democrats what exactly the Democrats are doing to us. I took a video of Niagara Falls yesterday, so you can check that out. Then there's really not too much of anything. So Father Fidelis is still in jail, and then we have five other pro-life activists in jail in Washington, D.C. Uh, they're not all, uh, this was not a Red Rose Rescue. Actually, none of them are in jail because of a Red Rose Rescue. Although Father Fidelis, Will Goodman, uh, John Henshaw, uh, let me see, who else? Lauren Handy have uh, all been part of Red Rose Rescues. These rescues were not Red Rose Rescues. Um, and these uh, five folks uh, are looking to...
to spend uh, a fair amount of time in jail. It's all bogus. It's a travesty of justice, um, uh, definitely an unjust prosecution. It was an unjust, unfair trial. And, and then they were immediately, immediately taken to custody. I mean, this is, you know, they're claiming that this stuff was a violent crime, a violent crime. It, isn't it? I mean, it's how ironic it is that, that, um, these people were trying to save babies from being butchered to death. Right? Abortion is a violent, a violent dismemberment, decapitation, um, uh, violent dismemberment and decapitation of babies, innocent babies, vulnerable babies in the womb, uh, the most abhorrent violence that you can imagine. And yet these people who were trying to save these babies from violence, uh, their act was violence. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt, right? Uh, and uh, yet uh, the and so what's going to happen is uh, this verdict will be overturned on appeal. But of course, appeals take a while, one to two years. Right. So the prosecution knows and they don't care. All right. The, you have to remember the Democrats, the liberals are lawless. They're lawless. All right. Now they claim we're the lawless ones. They have the moral authority. They kill babies. They push sexual perversions, mutilation of children. They want to deny parents their rights, uh, uh, eliminate the age of consent. Uh, they, they riot, right? They riot. Uh, and and turn around and ignore these violent riots and then, of course, make a big deal out of uh, peaceful protest and claim that the peaceful protests are the violent ones and that the violent uh, riots are mostly peaceful. This is how evil they are. They are evil. They know they're evil. They think they have a moral authority. And this is where we are in this country. And, of course, uh, they know that they're going to maintain power. They know they can maintain power. Um, and it is a serious problem that we're facing. Uh, we could be a year, two years away from uh, anti-Catholic persecution. Uh, we could uh, uh, be a, a year or two away from them coming after all of us because of our Catholic faith, because of our pro-life uh, mindset. But anyway... <coughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, so this, this trial, this verdict will be overturned on appeal, but the appeal could take a year or two years. So they take these people immediately into custody, uh, while the appeal is pending, the appeal overturns the verdict and then, uh, you know, and then, uh, uh, yeah, ho hopefully then they will have uh, uh, repercussion. Uh, I, I'm sorry, recourse, recourse, and we'll be able to sue. Uh, but uh, if there's not another trial, they may just choose not to retry the case. Um, I, I dare say they probably will not have any recourse. And so this is how the liberals work, right? So it'll end up being that these people are found guilty of nothing, of nothing, and yet we'll spend time in jail, right? Um, th this is this is how liberalism works. This is how socialism works. This is uh, 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 where the direction we're going. In. This is where we're heading. <clears throat> All right, so we're heading, let me tell you what we're doing. We're heading to the Shrine of the North American Martyrs. We're heading to the Divine Mercy Shrine, um, and and that's all exciting. So be sure to my prayers for you. Thank you for your prayers for me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on in Breitbart. <clears throat> I haven't checked this in a couple of days. Uh, I want to make sure that... Uh, uh,
The Pentagon has lost a, uh, has launched a website dedicated to UFO sightings. So, do you believe in UFOs? Do you believe in 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 that? extraterrestrials, people from out of space, people from other planets, other galaxies have visited us. I don't. <clears throat> all right. I don't at all. All right. I know that there's uh, a lot of aliens visiting us and uh, they're not from out of space. They're flowing across our southern border. As a matter of fact, uh, it's been reported that border apprehensions have risen more than 30 uh, percent for uh, two consecutive months. So nothing but nonsense. Uh, nothing but nonsense. So thank God, nonsense is better than uh, serious, serious stuff. Yeah. And you guys have been following what's been going on in Maui. Um, I, I do believe, you know, and I'm not believing everything that I'm hearing, but I believe that there's there's legitimate um, le legitimate questions, all right, that have arisen. I think that should uh, be explored. Uh, <clears throat> all right, look it. Um, let, let, let's do some prayers, all right? And uh, I'm gonna let you go on your Good Friday, your first Friday, your first Friday of September. So, uh, again, I want to remind you. Now, this is the um, the preamble of the Irish Constitution, right there. That's the small preamble of the Irish Constitution, in, invoking the Trinity, invoking our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the history and the heritage. Catholic history and heritage of Ireland. Of course, we always unite ourselves to Christ on the cross. He laid down his life for us. We resolve to lay down our lives for him by laying down our lives for each other, especially the least of Christ's brethren. We pray every day for the Pope, bishops, and priests. Father in heaven, we thank you for your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who through his death and resurrection has given us the hope of eternal happiness with you, Father. Send your Holy Spirit upon the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, that they may be for us bold witnesses of faithful love for the church, and remain for us examples of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. Joseph, St. Stephen, intercede for the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, especially in our hour of need. Our Lady Guadalupe, intercede for the conversion of the world, and the end of the daily mass murder of pre-born children. Amen. Today, September 20, uh, September 1st, St. Joshua. Uh, St. Joshua, your actions do not, your actions do not witness to having chosen the Lord to serve and put away foreign gods that are among you and incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. So Joshua, right? Uh, Joshua of Nun, who was the, uh, uh, the, uh, replaced Moses, right? So he was given, uh, charge of the, uh, people of Israel after Moses' death. Joshua is the one who led Israel into the promised land. All right. Uh, Mother Teresa, now let's pray for our nation, that we're a holy nation, a just nation, a nation that stands up for life, marriage, and family. My allergies are definitely kicking in. Uh, it's getting to be that time of year, the fall. Uh, my eyes are burning. Uh, I'm, of course, uh, in...
you know, so I went from Florida to Albuquerque to Phoenix and actually Ireland to Florida to Albuquerque to Phoenix and now uh, to uh, Niagara, Niagara, New York. Um, definitely vegetation, different vegetation, plant life. Uh, and it does affect me. It does affect me, mostly in the morning. Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa's feast day is coming up, I believe, on Tuesday. Mother Teresa intercede for us. Help us to be Jesus and see Jesus and those who Jesus entrusts to our care. And then, of course, the uh, prayers that I wrote. You can get these prayer cards. Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you a packet of these prayers for every envelope you send me. Or you can go to protestchildkilling.com, the featured link right there. <clears throat> protestchildkilling.com. Scroll down, take screenshots of the pictures, and you can pray them with us each day. St. Joseph, my patron saint, born on the Feast of St. Joseph, intercede for us. On this first Friday, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph protect us uh, throughout the month. Uh, help us to come to conversion, to make that turn. Slowly I turn, step by step, back to you, Lord. All right, and then we pray for those who struggle with physical and spiritual trials and tribulations, and we do this uh, every single day that we're together. Suicidal ideation, clinical depression, cancer, heart disease, strokes, uh, my friend who I'm traveling with has struggled with cancer for years. Um, and uh, so we pray for all cancer victims, all victims of heart disease, strokes, diabetes, clinical depression, suicidal ideation. And we ask our Lord and all the saints, right? St. Faustina, St. Dymphna, uh, St. Philomena, St. Charbel, St. Peregrine, uh, St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi, St. Uh, Zelly and Louise Martin. So many saints we pray. We ask for their intercession every single day for those who struggle with physical and spiritual trials and tribulations. All right. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, um, uh, yeah, what are your prayer intentions this month? Uh, always be assured that I will pray for you. Uh, please uh, pray for me, and I thank you for your prayers for me. Our Lady of America dot com. Our Lady of America dot com. There is the diary of Sister Mildred. By thy holy and immaculate conception, O Mary, deliver us from evil. By thy holy and immaculate conception, O Mary, deliver us from evil. Uh, by thy holy and immaculate conception, uh, Mary, deliver us from evil. All right, so Our Lady of America dot com, Our Lady of America dot com, the original website. The Lorca St. Patrick, we pray that every single day. I rise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through a confession of the oneness of the creator of creation, salvation is of the Lord, salvation is of the Lord, salvation is of Christ. May our salvation, O Lord, be ever with us. Amen. All right, I'm Father Stephen Abrado of ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com. Remember, offer up your entire day to our Lord and ask him to shed his mercy down upon all of your intentions. So we pray for each other. We pray with each other, for each other every single day. Remember to pray for all of these pro-lifers in Washington, D.C. Father Fidelis is in jail. The five are in jail in D.C. Uh, pray for the abolition of abortion through constitutional personhood from the moment of conception. This is the issue near and dear to my heart. And again, the mensmarch.com, the mensmarch.com, or rallyforpersonhood.com, rallyforpersonhood.com. Again, you can go to protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com, and any, any, all right, any, uh, uh, website that we talk about, URL, a uh, link that we talk about, realestateforlife.org. Uh, 
OurLadyOfAmerica.com. All the websites we talk about are there. All my ministries on the road for life, constitutional personhood, they're all there. My YouTube, my Rumble channels, please subscribe to Rumble and YouTube. Uh, everything is there at ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com. All right, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, we're heading to the Shrine of the North American Martyrs, maybe a Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, we're going to uh, hopefully get to where uh, Blessed Kateri uh, died, I believe, died, and maybe is even buried, and then uh, also uh, Divine Mercy Shrine, Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, uh, Massachusetts. So uh, be assured of my prayers. Thank you for our pr your prayers. Uh, please uh, share this video, one share per group, one share per page. Go out into the world today, my friends, and give them heaven. Oh.